Okay, Isaiah 55. O oh, everyone that thirsteth, come ye to the waters, and he that hath no money, come ye buy and eat. Yea, come buy wine and milk without money and without price. Wherefore do you spend money for that which is not bread, and your labor for that which satisfies not? Hearken diligently unto me, and eat ye that which is good, and let your soul delight itself in fatness. Incline your ear, and come unto me here, and your soul shall live. And I will make an everlasting covenant with you, even the sure mercies of David. Behold, I have given him for a witness to the people, a leader and commander to the people. Behold, thou shalt call a nation that thou knowest not, and nations that knew not thee shall run unto thee because of the Lord thy God, and for the Holy One of Israel, for he hath glorified thee. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found, call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain comes down, and the snow from heaven, and returns not there, but waters the earth, and makes it bring forth in bud, that it may give seed to the sower, and bread to the eater, so shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereunto I sent it. For you shall go out with joy, and be led forth with peace. The mountains and the hills shall break forth before you into singing. And all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Instead of the thorns shall come up the fir tree. Instead of the briars shall come up the myrtle tree. And it shall be to the Lord for a name, for an everlasting sign that shall not be cut off. Isaiah 56. Thus saith the Lord, Keep your judgment, do justice, for my salvation is near to come, and my righteousness to be revealed. Blessed is the man <clears throat> that does this, and the son of man that lays hold on it, that keeps the Sabbath from polluting it, and keeps his hand from doing any evil. Neither let the son of the stranger that hath joined himself to the Lord speak, saying, The Lord hath utterly separated me from his people. Neither let the eunuch say, Behold, I am a dry tree. For thus saith the Lord unto the eunuchs that keep my Sabbaths, and choose the things that please me, and take hold of my covenant. Even unto them will I give in mine house, and within my walls a place and a name, better than that than of sons and of daughters. I will give them an everlasting name that shall not to be cut off. Also the sons of the stranger that join themselves to the Lord to serve him and to love the name of the Lord to be his servants. Every one that keeps the Sabbath from polluting it and takes hold of my covenant. Even them will I bring to my holy mountain and make them joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and their sacrifices shall be accepted upon my altar. For my house shall be called a house of prayer for all people. The Lord God, which gathers the outcast of Israel, saith, Yet will I gather others to him besides those that are gathered unto him. All ye beasts of the field come to devour, yea, all ye beasts in the forest. His watchmen are blind, they are all ignorant, they are all dumb dogs, they cannot bark, sleeping, lying down, loving to slumber. Yea, they are all greedy dogs, which can never have enough, and they are shepherds that cannot understand. They all look to their own way, every one for his gain from his quarter. Come ye, say they, I will fetch wine, and we will fill ourselves with strong drink, and tomorrow shall be as this day, and much more abundant. Chapter 57 The righteous perish, and no man lay it to heart, and merciful men are taken away. None consider that the righteous is taken away from the evil to come. He shall enter into peace, they shall rest in their beds, each one walks in his uprightness. But draw near hither, you sons of the sorceress, the seed of the adulterer and the whore. Against whom do you sport yourselves? Against whom make you a wide mouth and draw out the tongue? Are you not children of transgression, a seed of falsehood, inflaming yourselves with idols under every green tree, slaying the children in the valleys under the cliffs of the rocks? Among the smooth stones of the stream is thy portion. They, they are thy lot. Even to them hast thou poured a drink offering. Thou hast offered a meat offering. Should I receive comfort in these? Upon a lofty and high mountain hast thou set thy bed. Even there went thou up to offer sacrifice. Behind the doors also, and the host, hast thou set up thy remembrance. For thou hast discovered thyself to another than me, and art gone up. Thou hast enlarged your bed, and made thee a covenant with them. Thou hast loved their bed where you saw it. And you went to the king with ointment, and did increase your perfumes, and did send the messengers far off, and did debase yourself even unto hell. Thou art wearied, 
In the greatness of thy way, you said thou not, there is no hope. Thou hast found the life of thine hand. Therefore thou wast not grieved. And of whom have thou been afraid or feared that thou hast lied and hast not remembered me, nor laid it to thy heart? Have not I held my peace even of old, and thou fearest not? I will declare thy righteousness and thy works, for they shall not profit thee. When thou Christ let thy companies deliver you, but the wind shall carry them all away. Vanity shall take them. But he that puts his trust in me shall possess the land, and shall inherit my holy mountain. And shall say, Cast ye up, cast ye up, prepare the way, take up the stumbling block out of the way of my people. For thus say the high and lofty one that inhabiteth eternity, whose name is holy, I dwell in the high and holy place with him also that is of a contrite and humble spirit, to re to revive the spirit of the humble, and to revive the heart of the contrite ones. For I will not contend forever, neither will I be always wroth, for the spirit should fail before me, and the souls which I have made. For the iniquity of his covetousness was I wroth, and smote him. I hid me, and was wroth, and he went on forwardly in the way of his heart. I have seen his ways, and will heal him. I will lead him also, and restore comforts unto him, and to his mourners. I create the fruit of the lips. Peace, peace to him that is afar off, and to him that is near, saith the Lord, and I will heal him. But the wicked are like the troubled sea when it cannot rest, whose waters cast up mire and dirt. There is no peace, saith my God, to the wicked.